How you doing? This is Sean McVay, Sean's Outdoor Adventures. I've got a zillion things going on right now because I'm moving to Iowa and I'm trying to get my house ready to put on the market for sale. But I'm going to stop for a moment and make this video real quick because today is May 30th. And I've had a lot of people ask me how to go about getting a non-resident hunting license for Iowa. So I'm going to quickly tell you because the cutoff is in a few days for this year. So the first thing you need to know is the state of Iowa is cut up into zones. When I hunted there a couple years ago, I didn't want to tell anybody, but I hunted zone 5. That's actually one of the most sought after zones. The reason why that's significant is because you have two options. You can either straight out apply for a hunting license uh, or you can buy a preference point. When I hunted in zone 5, I had three preference points built up. You can only get one per year, so it took me three years to build up that many points and I drew a tag my fourth year but there were a lot of people who did not draw a tag that year so it depends on what zone you're going after I was going after five which is one of the most sought after zones and so it's harder to get a tag so here's your options you can either go ahead and apply for a license and you can basically only do so in the month of May if you just put it on your calendar I put a reminder on my calendar to remind me annually they will also email you if you set it up that way but you can go ahead and apply and you have to specify the zone when you're applying for a license if you do not draw a tag they will give you a preference point the other option is to just straight out buy a preference point let's say you can't hunt Iowa this year you know you can't but you want to work toward that just go on there buy a preference point you don't have to specify a zone but now you have that in your pocket you don't lose your preference points you know let's say you don't get a preference point or apply next year you still keep the preference point all right so i'm editing this video and i realized i forgot to tell you the prices the price of a license is around 550 dollars so if you're applying for the license you have to put up 550 dollars up front and then if you don't draw a tag they refund all but the amount of a preference point. A preference point is somewhere around $58 or something, $55, $58. So they'll return, they'll return all of the funds except for that $55 for the preference point. And if you just straight up buy a preference point, well then it's just you know $58 you're spending at that time. Back to this video in its originally intended progress. So, if you have any intention or thought of hunting in the state of Iowa anytime in the near future, especially now that I'm going to be out there, go ahead and hurry up at least by a point and do it before the cutoff. I, I think it's one of the first days of June is the cutoff. I'm not positive on that, but I usually just keep in mind, do it in the month of May. So that is the basic gist of it all, folks. Um, Again, there's other zones I applied for the most sought after zone, one of the most sought after, which is five. If you go into the northern hemisphere of Iowa, you have a much more likelihood of drawing a tag every other year or maybe even every year, depending on how many people are applying. So there you have it, folks. So that's how to get a non-resident hunting license for the state of Iowa. Good luck to you all. God bless. i got to get back to work.